Could tigers live in Yellowstone National Park? Yellowstone National Park is the United States' oldest, largest, and possibly most well-known national park. It is located primarily in northwestern Wyoming, but also in parts of southern Montana and eastern Idaho, and contains the world's highest concentration of hydrothermal features. Yellowstone has 1,350 species of flowering plants, about 1,150 of which are native. Approximately four-fifths of the park's land is forested, with lodgepole pines accounting for the vast majority of the tree growth. Outside of Alaska, the park has the most diverse animal assemblage in the United States, with over a dozen mammal species. There are fewer grizzly bears in Yellow Park. Bobcats are thought to be prevalent throughout the park, but their numbers are unclear, and pumas have been spotted on occasion. Wolves were successfully reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park in 1995, Yellowstone also has about 300 bird species, 16 fish species, and less than a dozen reptile and amphibian species, but no tiger. Wild tigers are not native to the United States, which includes Yellowstone National Park, geographically. Tigers are highly strong and are considered one of the most fearsome predators in the world due to their status as the largest cat species. A tiger swipe is one of the major weapons, equipped with sharp claws at the tips of the paws. In fact, a single strike from a tiger's paw is powerful enough to kill or fracture animal spines. They are armed with very powerful jaws that allow them to take down prey with a fatal bite to the neck or back of the head. The bones in their legs are strong and solid, allowing them to support the enormous and powerful bodies required to hunt large prey. What would happen if tigers were introduced to the Yellowstone National Park? The weather in Yellowstone is unpredictable because the majority of the park is at an elevation of 6,000 feet or higher above sea level. Winters are cold and snowy, with temperatures ranging from 0 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 to minus 7 degrees Celsius, throughout the day. Sub-zero temperatures are common, especially at night and at higher elevations. The record low temperature is minus 66 degrees Fahrenheit minus 54 degrees Celsius. Could tigers adapt to the harsh winter of Yellowstone? Siberian tigers would have no difficulty adapting to the new environment because they are native to similar surroundings. That would be an excellent natural habitat for them as long as there is enough food, cover, and water nearby, all of which are plentiful in Yellowstone. Bengal tigers may initially be affected by the cold winter, but tigers are remarkably adaptable creatures, and some Bengal tigers have been known to survive outdoors in various zoos in many cold places throughout the world. How would tigers cope with the animals in the Yellowstone National Park? The presence of tigers would be harmful to the local ungulates and carnivores, as they would wreak havoc. Consider what would happen if a large number of hungry tigers were relocated to Yellowstone, where they would have a great demand for meat. This would have a huge impact on the native animal population. When an invasive species is introduced to an environment, especially an apex predator, it will have an impact on the ecosystem. The introduction of tigers would damage the park's ecological and overall setting. Wolf packs would be displaced from every territory the tigers claim. Tigers would undoubtedly compete with grizzlies, and there would likely be some violent clashes between them, with the bears having an early advantage over the tigers due to the tigers' requirement for time to adapt to the North American habitat. Over time, the tigers would most likely take charge. Bears have a tough time during the winter. Bear size would be reduced as they hibernated, tigers would benefit, and the grizzly population would be diminished significantly. Tourists would likewise be affected if tigers were introduced to Yellowstone National Park. Let us hear your opinion through your comments. What do you think would happen if tigers were introduced to Yellowstone?